Yarmy mateys! On <coughs> something, something's wrong with my voice. Welcome back to Notter Soy Boy Challenge. As you remember, the last time I was here and you were here with me, we visited the catacombs where water mages conduct their studies and we're about to talk to Riontian. Hey, you! What are you doing? I'm studying the culture of the ancient people. Based on the inscriptions, they lived long before our time. I don't know exactly when they erected these halls, but their civilization was highly developed. They built a city on the other side of the mountains and a temple for Adonos. Mm-hmm. A lost city on the island of Corinus? Yes. Until now, we lived in the belief that we knew the whole island. We assumed that the entire northeast of the island was one enormous mountain range. But we were wrong. Behind these mountains lies a valley. The city of the ancient people was located there. I would only too gladly see the buildings of the city, but they have probably fallen to dust long ago. Well, let's sure hope that they didn't. Saturas wants to see you. Has he gotten further with his investigation? Then I will go to him immediately. If you want to learn more about this complex, talk to Nefarious. You'll find him farther back in these vaults. Good to know, mage. So, um, we are still in the catacombs. And I guess we can talk to Nefarious. Um, we're already here, so why the hell not? Oh, old stone tablet. I'm sure we can use one of those in the future. That would be a problem. I'm no better off myself. Busy? These vaults are one big mystery for me. It's hard to imagine that no one else found them before now. We were able to uncover the entrance without difficulty. People are so occupied with their daily routine that no one looked more closely at this structure. I have no other explanation for it. What is your task here? I'm trying to find out where this round portal leads. Besides that, I help Nefarious look for the missing ornament. It is certain that this portal leads to another part of the island that we do not yet know. I can't remember ever having heard or read about that. You really want to go through the portal? Of course. Assuming we find that missing ornament, that is. I admit, it is a somewhat risky business. But we must absolutely find out what it has to do with these constant earthquakes. Well, earthquake, earthquakes do seem like a problem. What do you know about the earthquakes? Something on the other side is causing them. The source is probably also causing the stone sentinels to awaken. But that isn't my job. Saturus and Kronos can tell you more about that. What do you think you will find over there? I'm really not sure. I suspect that on the other side there will be a structure similar to this one, and a counterpart to this portal. Everything else we shall see when we get there. What is the fastest way back to the city? I recommend you go back the same way you came. Hmm, but you could also... No, that would be too dangerous. Out with it. Well, the builders of these halls had their own method of traveling. As far as we can tell, they can teleport. That's nothing special. The teleporter stones that we found here in Corinus are special indeed. It seems as though the teleporter stone here in these halls may lead to the harbor city. However, none of us had the courage to try it. Harbor city is exactly where I'm heading, so... Where is this teleporter stone? There is a door in the basin room. I have locked it up behind there. What if I were to try to use it? No idea. We know too little about it. It is possible you wouldn't survive. Give me the key. I want to take a look at this thing. But I take no responsibility for it. 
Give it here. If you say so, here it is. Where are the other teleporter stones? So far, we've only found one other somewhere in the middle of Corinus, near the Dead Harpy Tavern. Oh, I wasn't there before. Can you teach me anything about magic? Once we're over there, I'll be at your disposal. Okay. Uh, there was this one mage that left me hanging, so... Hello, mage. Hey! Oh, we do know each other, don't we, Kronos? May I bother you for a moment? It's you. I never thought I'd see your face again. It's very brave of you to show up here. There was a time we would have skinned you alive. You can be glad that was a few weeks ago, and we've all calmed down. What are you doing here? My task is to find out more about the Guardians of the Temple. That is a tough nut, let me tell you. These stone sentinels have a characteristic that is utterly foreign to me. One moment they're standing around completely lifeless, and the next they're attacking you like they're possessed. I still haven't been able to determine their driving power. But one thing is sure, it is of magical origin. Tell me more about these stone sentinels. I can't tell you much so far. Unfortunately, we have had to destroy them. Now, they aren't dangerous. When we came here, they attacked us. We could only defeat them with our combined power. And I'm afraid there are even more waiting for us behind the portal. There must be a way to banish their driving force so that they remain nothing more than statues. Fascinating. Can you sell me some equipment? Why not? If I remember correctly, we've already done business. Tell me what you need. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Mm, I need to sell you something. Mm, I can sell you those rusty swords and the wolf knife. Wouldn't be using this one anymore. Maybe some heavy branches. Mm. I guess I do have a better weapon now. So, um, here you have a saw and a weed masher. A frying pan, maybe. Some hammers. Mandible. Mm. Citizen's clothing. I re as I remember correctly, I need to have at least one uh, left because I'll need it in one quest after that. But other than that, I think I can sell you all of them. Well, they all cost the same, so I guess. Longbow. Well, it's a pity you died, Bartok, but, you know, you didn't have to shoot this shadow beast in the head. And that's not a metaphor. Hey, you! Everything alright? It's very brave of you to just walk in here. What are you doing here? I'm studying the language of the builders. The language is the key to understanding the ancient people. Each one of us must learn it, or this expedition will be over before it even begins. The builders use stone tablets to pass on their knowledge. Unfortunately, many of them are broken, or were stolen long ago. What's on these stone tablets, then? They contain the collected knowledge of the ancient people. Whoa! combat and magic by magical means. For someone who can read the tablets, they are a real treasure. Okay, so can you teach me that language? Can you teach me to read the language? Well, why not? I'll gladly pass on my knowledge to you. Teach me that language. Please, Thomas. I can teach you the language of the peasants. As a rule, Texts written in the language of the peasants deal with worldly matters such as work, love, or obtaining food. It was the common language of the city. You will be able to understand most of the text found here if you know it. Well, 
I probably want to learn it because as I recall you can use one of those tablets. Oh for fuck's sake. Go and test your new knowledge. You will see that the scriptures of the builders are no longer an unsolvable mystery for you. Okay, I spend five points. Hey, you! How about the second level? Teach me that language. You already know the language of the peasants. The language of the warriors is somewhat harder. Texts written in the language of the warriors mostly deal with weapons and war. You will learn some useful things there. Oh, I can't land that. Didn't have enough skill points. But hey, I literally just learned the language in a minute. And I can use this tablet to boost my mana. Yeah, that's, that's, that's really cool. Well, hello, old friend. Hey, you. How's it going? What are you doing here? This is certainly a surprise. I thought you had been killed. Almost. There was quite a fuss about you, you know that? I hardly recognize Satyras. He was so beside himself about that business back then. What sort of portal is that? We suspect that it leads to the Lost Valley, where the ancient culture must have had their city. But the stone behind the portal is made of massive rock, yards thick. Also, there are no signs of teleportation magic. Very mysterious. Oh, so mysterious. Do you know how to activate it? One of the missing ornaments seems to be a sort of magical key. We'll need it to get any further. It has to fit exactly into the ring-shaped hollow next to the portal. Oh, this, this one on the left, right? I brought a part of the ornament. Really? That's terrific. Do you have any idea where the other parts are? According to the ancient inscriptions, it was broken into four pieces. And it looks as though the parts are still to be found on the island. With Merdarian's help, I have translated some of the inscriptions. There are hints as to where the remaining pieces are. Here, I've marked some of the places on this map. Look around there. You should pay attention to old structures. They might be somewhat deteriorated and no longer clearly recognizable. It could be almost anything. A large rock, a stone circle, a mausoleum, or something similar. But what am I saying? <laughs> You'll find it. Well, good luck. Good luck indeed. Why was the ornament broken? Whoever did it wanted to prevent the portal from ever being opened again. The longer I stare at the inscriptions, the more I realize that the priests of the ancient culture really were no fools. There was a good reason that they made the region back there inaccessible. We don't know what awaits us there, but it certainly isn't anything good. But we'll go there nevertheless, because you know, we're adventurers, not just some magicians. Okay, cool. We have our first map and we're somewhere here. Okay. There are still those. One, two, three. Three points. As I remember, one of those structures that we certainly have to find, because it's a main quest, um, is somewhere deep in the woods and we can use Lara's help with it. But, if we want to use Lara's help, we have to go back to the city. So, off we go, back to the city. Alrighty then, here are the door. That's a funny moving door. Oh, and I know nothing about picking locks. Oh yeah, I don't. I do not know anything about picking locks. I have to learn that skill, and I have to do it fast. Okay, let's let's save it, and let's go. Check out if I die or not. 
Oh shit! I may actually die. Filthy wolf. I'm not afraid of you. Haha. Well, actually, as I am here, oh, this sausage looks so yummy. But I can't use it. The rules are the rules. Okay. As I recall, I was supposed to kill an ore. Nothing there. For Harad, the blacksmith. So what just happened? OMG. What is it? Well anyway. Let's try luring the said orc to the city. Maybe the militia can take care of it for me. Die, you meat box. Filthy beasts. Well, I did add a stipulation that I can't kill any sheep. But there was nothing about meat box, right? Also, sheep are cute, unlike bugs, which are just nasty little assholes. Okay, yeah, just. Oh no, stop, don't stop chasing after me. Do chase after me, please. Oh fuck. I just died. <sighs> Didn't expect this one to happen. Whew. Okay, let's try it once again. And if that won't work, I'll probably just become the apprentice of Bosper, because, you know, we already finished his quest. And as I recall, you didn't give me any feedback about uh, whose apprentice shall I become. And furthermore, Bosper isn't a sexist asshole. So, you know, all the more reasons. And we can always finish the quest for Hart later. Because my god, killing orcs in this game is difficult. Meadowberry. Okay. Now I should save, probably. Definitely don't want to witness yet another looting of meat bugs. And let's try the lure to lure the orc again. Yeah, draw his attention. Great. Cool. Okay, so let's save again. 
and just wait for the right moment to strike it. Whoops! Kid. Oh gee, you stole my Well never mind. There's another of those ah, gummy. There beasts. you are again. Canthor was trying to trick you and to get your booth for himself, but I've turned him over to the city guard. Then you've made an enemy of a dangerous man. I've known the bastard for a long time, and he's always wanted my place for himself. Take this weapon as a token of my gratitude. Show me your wares. Oh no, I, I can't sell you this. Oh my gosh! All right, so much for you, filthy. One less monster around. Lol. They're just just going around killing blood flies. Nothing to be had there. Hmm. Can I just enter the city and you know, without drawing any suspicions? Yeah! Oh, okay. Alright then. Um, I, I guess it's getting kind of late. Okay, I think I also collected. Also oh, shut up, Vatras. And a deep sadness overcame Adams. I think I collected all of the herbs for a uh, Constantino. And thus spake Adonis to his brothers, About the plants. Never again. If you cannot handle that by yourself, you won't be any good as an alchemist either. Shall it be? I've got all the plants I was supposed to bring you. What? You're pulling my leg, right? By Adonis. It's all there, all right. Who knows? Maybe someday you can make a decent alchemist after all. Okay, so I can become the apprentice of Constantino. But first, uh, let's talk with Harad. Hey, hmm, what do you want? I've got the orc weapon you wanted. Show me. It's been a while since I've had a weapon like this in my hands. I was a soldier back in the Orc War. Those were tough times, I can tell you. I didn't think you could do it. I'm impressed. Can I sign on as an apprentice with a different master? You're a good man. I'll give you my approval. Brian will still be here for a while. And a strong lad to take his place will turn up in time. All right, so I finished the quest for Harad and for Constantino. And I guess let's go to sleep did so. before making my decision. But first, let's talk with this young man here. Can I get a drink here? If you have gold, you can even eat here if you like. And how's business going? Ah, don't remind me. Lord Andre is serving free beer at the Gallows Square. Hardly anybody comes here now. 
except no for the light, rich people from the no upper darkness. quarter. What's wrong with them? This yeah, <laughs> some of those swells could really get and on your nerves. Works all day too. Take that uh, Valentino, for instance. But he knew that all along. I can't stand the sight of him. But I can't Everybody pick my customers. I, yeah, I need every coin I can make. Say what little I had managed to save has been stolen. He along with all my up. silver. It was just You've like been robbed? Said. Yep, some time ago. It was still and rather crowded that night. And, uh, I was doing the round, serving a beer. That all I wasn't gone long from behind the counter, but That's it was long secret. enough for those bastards. I went to see the mm, militia about it, is. but they couldn't find a thing, of course. Someone's yeah, got to yeah. do the work. They prefer to get plastered on free beer. You mustn't believe everything you hear. Tell She's me okay. about the missing townspeople. I heard that a lot of them went missing down by the harbor. Small wonder with all that's going on down there. But that's terrible. Even Thorben, the carpenter in the lower part of town. Has lost his apprentice. Hakon, the uh, one of the merchants in the marketplace, no, had typical, an especially isn't? strange tale to tell. He well, said get that there was me. this fella that he used to bump into every day. He can't keep and suddenly he vanished off the face of the earth. He even I went to see the to militia be. about it. Townspeople all pretty That's much panicked after said. that. I don't know what to make of it. I <laughs> ah, it's it all that. nonsense. Corinus is a rough city. And many dangers like lurk outside her gates. Those who don't stay within the city walls will be attacked by bandits. Go away, or don't tell me that. By wild animals. Yeah, it's you that simple. Leave everything you hear. Okay. He can't keep anything to What himself. is it with this Valentino? Yeah, he's filthy rich and has no need to work. And he Someone's brags about it to everybody. Whether you want to hear it or not, it he drinks a lot like and always stays until the end. And Don't tell this And early in the morning, he totters back to the upper quarters. It's, it's the same sad. every day. That's not what my husband thinks. What do I have to do to get into the upper quarter? Well, you need to be a citizen of the town. And but that's terrible. Go find some work. Preferably with a craftsman in the lower part of town. If he doesn't yeah, see that, I can't that'd make you a citizen. Who well, says things uh, like that? And if that's still not enough, know. go talk to Lord Andre at the barracks. Maybe oh, he'll let you me join me the city anymore. guard. I they can't can take go care of everything the upper quarter too. To listen. Okay. So, as a good I don't believe uh, innkeeper, no one really wants to hear that. Um, Corrigan gave me some great exposition. And now I can go to bed. I wouldn't have done that. Have a good sleep. And tomorrow I shall become an apprentice. But whose apprentice shall I become? That's actually up to you guys. Uh, please leave a comment. Um, and tell me what do you think? Who shall I work for? And don't think that's about it for today. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you are the true believers of his noodly perfection and see you guys around.